I'm Katie Gregory, Head of English, and I teach English Literature at A-Level. If you have a passion for reading, you must, must, must join our course. The English Department truly believes that the quotation on the PowerPoint, a reader lives a thousand lives before he dies, the man who never reads, lives only once, epitomises our subject, English Literature, here at Rugby High School. Studying English literature transports us and our students into worlds we never thought existed, and we are able to learn from characters who have experienced far more than we could ever have dreamt of by studying a range of text types, including poetry, prose and drama from a range of genres and time periods. It will enable you to become critical and empathetic learners who understands the world around us all skills you will use throughout your life. I'd like to take the opportunity to introduce you to the English department. Between us, we have over 135 years of teaching experience between us, and we are all English specialists. So be rest assured, you are in very safe and capable hands here in the department. You may be wondering what specification we follow at English Literature in A-Levels. Well, we follow the EDUCAS specification, and as a department, we think it is a wonderful spec. It allows all of our learners to become independent, resilient, and confident learners as we study a wide range of texts and text types from the late 1300s to the present day. The EDUCAS spec really does allow us to foster a love of lifelong learning in our subject. You may be wondering what specific texts you may be studying during your English literature course. So now I'll take some time to talk you through our set texts. Your drama set texts will be the bloody yet brilliant revenge tragedy, The Duchess of Malfi, and you will compare this to the play, A Streetcar Named Desire, a modern tragedy set in New Orleans. You will also study a Shakespeare play. The choices are dependent on teacher, but the choices are Antony and Cleopatra, Hamlet, or King Lear, all brilliant plays to study. You will also study a range of poetry too. You will have the opportunity to revisit the late 1300s by studying Chaucer's The Merchant's Tale, and you will also study the master of structure and form in Mr. Philip Larkin's poetry anthology. You'll then compare this to the magical imagery in Duffy's Meantime Collection. I think you'll agree two wonderful poets to compare. To prepare you for the unseen element of the course, you will also study a wide range of poems from a wide ranging time periods in history. You will also study a range of prose. For coursework, you will study Bronte's Jane Eyre and compare it to a post 2000 novel of your choice. This could be The Danish Girl, Atonement, The Road, The Testaments, the list goes on. The choice is endless. This piece of coursework is an exciting, original, comparative study of two texts, including contextual factors and critical readings. This extended response will enable you to master the skill set of an academic, university-style literature essay. Exactly what you need to prepare you for life at university. You may be wondering what attributes you will need to bring to the lessons. Well, listed are the five key ingredients you will need to bring to your learning every single lesson in order for you to become a successful student of literature. Please look at the list attached. As a result of the texts you study, the expertise of your teachers, and the way in which you will develop and grow through English literature, you will leave us with the key skills listed on this slide. I think you would all agree that analysis, critical thinking, synthesis, empathy, and all forms of communication are valuable key skills in life. Not only do we offer learning opportunities in lesson time, we also offer a plethora of wider learning opportunities in English literature too. Get lit, a key stage five reading group, trips to London for academic conferences, and many, many opportunities to enter national competitions are what we offer in English literature. 
We currently have Warwickshire's Young Poet Laureate um, in our Year 13 class, and we are Key Stage 4 and Key Stage 5 Poetry by Heart finalists currently. Who knows where this accolade will take these lovely students in the future, and you, of course, could follow in their footsteps. You may be wondering where studying English literature will take you. Well, as Alice says, anywhere you want to go. We have students who have studied literature who are now successful medics, healthcare workers, criminologists, journalists, dentists. The list goes on and on. English literature really can take you to anywhere you want to go. Our results speak for themselves. Our results are consistently excellent year upon year. And with hard work and dedication from you and the nurture and support from your teacher, you will achieve amazing things in our subject. You may be wondering if you can study both literature and language at Rugby High School. And the short answer is yes, you absolutely can. Although they are two totally different disciplines, they complement each other beautifully and universities also recognise them as two distinct qualifications. It wouldn't be right if you didn't hear what some of our literature students have to say about our subject. After all, they are the best advocate we could ever ask for. So over to you, Sonali and Sarah. Hi, I'm Sonali. I take English Literature, Drama and Philosophy for A-Levels. I chose English because I really enjoy reading and I love the whole creative aspect of it. I think English is really going to help me in the future as I want to pursue law and I think it's taught me a lot of skills I can use for essays and structuring my work. I'm Sarah, I take English Lit, History and Drama. I took English at A-Level because it was one of my favourite subjects at GCSE and I loved the plays and the poetry part of GCSE so when I saw that we had three sets of poetry and three plays that really excited me. Um, I would like to pursue English at university next year which proves how much I like it and I would love to go on to become a journalist and I think what I especially love about English at Rugby High is that we're always encouraged by the teachers to develop our own critical eye and uh, discuss things in a multitude of ways. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to the literature presentation. And if you have any questions or queries, please do not hesitate to contact me.